Today I'm going to show you how to make a fluffy and wonderful sandwich bread leavened with sourdough. It's just perfect. Hi, I'm Sune and I'm a food geek. Today I'm going to show you how to make a soft, fluffy and wonderful sourdough sandwich bread. It has a deeply caramelized crust, a soft crumb, and a slight tang from the starter. It's quite easy to make, but it does require a lot of time for proofing. When baking this, you can use a regular bread pan and have it uncovered, which will dome the bread above the pan, or you can use a Pullman loaf with a lid, which will create a classic square sandwich loaf. I've linked the appropriate pans uh, for this dough in the description. If you're new to this channel, I bake a lot of sourdough bread and I make delicious food from all over the world. I'm on a quest to get the most out of every ingredient and my goal is to teach you how to do that in simple and understandable steps. So join me by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss any future videos. The recipe uses a regular 100% hydration starter but made using a Laban. The flour is 100% all-purpose flour, as we want the bread to be on the softer side. The hydration is just a tad below 70%, so it's a relatively easy dough to work with. These are the words, this is the recipe. The written recipe, the ingredients and the amounts are linked in the card above. About 12 hours before you want to bake, make the Levan by mixing 30 grams of sourdough starter, 60 grams of water, 60 grams of all-purpose flour, leave to ferment for about 12 hours. When you're ready to bake, you should auto ease your flour. In the bowl of your stand mixer, add 900 grams of all-purpose flour, 60 grams of cane sugar, 20 grams of salt. Mix it with the paddle attachment until it's all combined. Then add 400 grams of water, 200 grams of milk, Mix until combined. Leave to autolyse under a damp dish towel for about 30 minutes. While the dough is autolysing, cube 100 grams of butter and let it come up to room temperature. After the 30 minutes are up, add the entire levain on the top and mix with the dough hook until combined. Once it's completely combined, add butter a couple of cubes at a time and let them mix in. Keep going until there's no butter left.
Then add the dough to a bowl and let it rest covered for 30 minutes. Then it's time for the first set of stretch and folds. And the second set of stretch and folds. set of stretch and folds. Then add the dough to a bulking container and let the dough ferment somewhere warm until it's grown about 25 to 50 percent, about two to four hours. When the dough is ready, divide it in half and then shape each of the halves into a bowl. Leave it on the counter for 30 minutes for the gluten to relax. Then flour your kitchen counter and flip the bowl onto the flour. Pull the dough out into a rectangle. Pull the bottom of the dough down and fold it up by a third. Then repeat with the right and then the left side. Then roll up the dough tightly. Spray a pan and put the dough into the pan. Repeat with the other bowl. Then let the loaves rise covered until they've grown about 50 to 75%, about two to two and a half hours. To test if the dough is ready, it should spring back slowly when poked. Then when the dough is close to ready, you should heat your oven to 220 degrees Celsius, about 425 degrees Fahrenheit. If you bake uncovered, brush the bread with a mixture of an egg yolk mixed with one tablespoon of milk. If you use a Pullman tin, put the cover on. Put both pans in the oven and bake for 35 minutes. Then turn the oven down to 190 degrees Celsius, about 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and bake for another 10 to 15 minutes. Have a peek inside your Pullman tin if the bread didn't rise to the top, 
You may want to remove the lid for the bread to brown on top. Bake until a probe thermometer registers about 99 degrees Celsius, about 210 degrees Fahrenheit when inserted into the middle. And take the bread out of the oven and let it cool on a wire rack. This bread is something to behold. Just have a look. Doesn't that just look delicious? If you feel like the crust is a wee bit on the hard side, then put the bread in a Ziploc bag after it's cooled and the crust will soften in about eight to 10 hours. Just store it in the Ziploc bag and it'll stay good and soft for many days. I hope you learned something today. See you next time.